<clears throat> okay, recording is start. Um, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Boys, today date is 29th September 2020. Characteristics of good fuels. Okay, uh, under this heading, we already discussed a little bit the choosing of fuel. Okay, the same thing. We can say, in other words, characteristics of good fuels. Uh, if we uh, choose a good fuel, so the good fuel have uh, such characteristics that is high calorific value means it will give us a high energy right the second thing is that moderate ignition temperature means uh, they will you know uh, ignition means to start to start uh, for burning okay to start for burning so you just need a little bit temperature okay and it will start burning this is the good characteristics of good fuel. Low moisture content means moisture should be very low. Okay, moisture. Okay, humidity in other words you can say. Humidity actually we use the word humidity for environment. Okay, and moisture for the thing, the material. Okay, so we are saying that low moisture content. Low ash content, you know, ash. Uh, you know, after, for example, if you have a wood, okay, it starts burning. After the burning, Okay, it will convert into uh, small particles as a ash, like a cigarette, you know, cigarette, uh, you use someone, uh, you observe it, someone use the cigarette. So uh, once he used the cigarette, so it becomes an ash, that ash, I mean low ash content because it, uh, uh, it will be polluted, okay, then to the environment. Uh, moderate velocity of combustion means slowly combust means not suddenly like for example you have a petrol you give some temperature it suddenly look like a burst okay a kerosene oil so suddenly start uh, burning okay so uh, fire will be very high the their fire flames are uh, will be very high so we don't need such uh, fuel we need a moderate velocity of combustion moderate should not produce harmful products Okay, means uh, once you uh, complete your combustion, I mean, you, uh, once you complete your burning, okay, so it will not create a harmful products. Okay, for just same thing, I shared one, uh, uh, shared you one example about the carbon monoxide. This is one example. Okay, so me in complete combustion, we, we, so we don't need uh, such product. Okay, then we have a low cost. Low cost means you can purchase easily. Okay. Easily storage and transportation means you can store easily and you can transfer. Uh, Sir, how the, the good fuels have low cost? Low cost means look, for example, uh, like uh, 9195, right? Here you can purchase a 91 and you can purchase a 95, but 91 is a little bit low, low uh, in price as compared to the. 95 right this is one example you can compare you know in the market uh, different prices uh, are available if you are dealing with uh, any unique fuel so every kind of fuel have different prices you know you already familiar this thing look like same example about the petrol means 91 and 95 okay even the diesel as well diesel also act as a fuel so they have different price 91 have, uh, even 91 is a petrol but 91 95 both are petrol but both are different prices okay then easy storage and transportation easy storage means you can store easily okay it means easily you can store it for a long time and other thing is transportation means it can be uh, easily transferable from one place to another okay easily Easily controllable means control. You can control it. To control means look. For example, you have a petrol. You start uh, burning of the petrol. So uh, petrol act as a look like a explode. You know, explode if you give some heat. So we have uh, uh, that petrol, that diesel are not suitable for cooking the food. Okay, for cooking the food, uh, the petrol diesel is not suitable because if you give some heat, so it will be explode. Okay, so we uh, we need for cooking of food, for example, I'm just uh, taking one, one case study. So we should use uh, such kind of fuel which are controllable, easily controllable, okay? Okay, 
Now, a next thing. Now, remember the three fossil fuels are, we already discussed this thing, the coal, okay? Coal look like this is a stone-like, okay? Coal, you know, in many areas we are using the coal for cooking. Uh, not here, but especially you can say the mountaineers persons. And, and even we can use coal for uh, generate the electricity as well. Crude oil, everyone familiar that it is the a raw oil, a fresh oil uh, comes from the ground, okay, uh, before proceeding to produce different products of oil. Just hold on, boys. What is we wait for a while. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, actually, I'm in class uh, I, at two o'clock. I'm free. No. Yeah, it's now the class just start now. One fifteen. Yeah, yeah, sure. One fifteen started now. Yeah, sure. Okay, okay, Islam. Okay, sorry for inconvenience, boys. This is a class. Okay, uh, <clears throat> a crude oil. This is a natural gas. Okay, natural gas. This one is the, is the natural gas. Okay, everyone familiar that it's about the natural gas. Now, I have some questions uh, for you. I, mean, uh, I think you have uh, the answers. That coal, petroleum, and natural gas are called. We have three fossil options. Fuel. Yeah, fossil fuel. Fossil fuel. Fossil fuel. Fossil fuel. Fossil fuel. Fossil fuel. Second, fuel. second option. Gas. Oxygen. 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 Yeah. Oxygen. Oxygen. Very good. Very good. Oh, this is the oxygen. 